officially officially introducing you streets of portugal after finding my hostel which i want to show you later up here where i'm staying i'm looking for a restaurant to eat and actually i'm wondering how this tip the land is probably this used to be a mountain because the more you keep going up the more it keeps going steep and steep okay so these are the streets here i'm looking for a restaurant i just asked that young guy and he told me if i go this way i'm gonna find a restaurant look this is portugal that place looks like nice to walk i'll go there later but for now i'm actually so hungry there's a restaurant here but it looks too classy i want to find a local regular restaurant like where i can actually drink some soup and i don't know even if this guy's cook soup you know there's a lady i met in thailand a friend of mine her name is margarita but you can actually say margarita so um i was expecting to meet her what is this what is this? sangria cerveza this is a place to drink so it's not a restaurant i found one restaurant right there but uh I wanna find kind of local one but again what's local here you know this looks like a local restaurant let me try this one here so guys uh, I found a restaurant here and um, this is oh I think I'll have this one oh they have rice man I had missed rice for so long man Fried that rice. So, okay, so this makes more sense for me actually. If I have beans and rice, that's close to 10 euros. Not so bad. Oh, there's even breakfast here. Wow, I think tomorrow I'll come here and eat this, you see. So. Wow, alright, take this one. This looks nice. It's chicken. Oh, this is Cam Camarón. Wow, let me see what I'm gonna choose. There's also this. They have really good food. Yeah, it's more Asian actually. That's what I realized. So I just ordered my food. Uh, let me see my first meal in Portugal. I've not actually eaten anything. From here, I'll go again to the supermarket and try to shop a little things. And also, I'm gonna buy some bananas here. Actually, one banana is one euro. I need to explain that. Yes. Uh, in my home, one euro can get you like 20 bananas. Uh, here. That's why sometimes when I'm in my village, I always tell my mom not to feed me too much because when I'm traveling, I can't cope with that, you know? So let me wait for this. It's a nice small restaurant, looks nice. Big TV and drinks. Maybe I should even have uh, one beer, which is very popular here in Portugal, just to end my day. Let's wait and see. So they're preparing my food and I decided to walk here for five minutes just show you how this place looks like. I hope I just don't forget the restaurant. It's called Glory something and there's a bar. Wow. It looks like a nice place to come and chill. And this is how people in Portugal are. Very nice, calm. So probably, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay around here but for now let me just explore this beautiful old town i even don't know where i am honestly i need to check on my google maps but one thing that's really surprised me is um, portugal has very very many black people over a million and mostly are from angola and mozambique and even if you walk in the streets you can actually see that that has really surprised me and also a lot of people also come from brazil Wow, look how this street looks like. The population of Portugal in general 
is uh, 10 million. So if there's a million people who are black here in Portugal, that means we have 1% of its population. Is it 1 or 10%? 10 million people equals to 100%. What about 1 million? That's 10%. Hmm. Look, there's a nice park here. It reminds me of Cuba, you know? Very old architecture. And even their roads look old. Others have potholes. I'm trying to... And also, Cuba has also kind of the similar type of parks. Old houses and parks where you can actually access Wi-Fi. Look at this tree. You can imagine how old it is. Very, very big. So, and people sit out. You know, it's summertime in Europe. So, it's very common to see people sit out and just bask the sun. And this is Marwa, man. Lost in the, in the streets of uh, Portugal. So, look, this is amazing. There's a waterfall here. Uh, super, super nice. Just chilling, showing you what's going on. Some ladies here smoking some weed. I don't know if they're from Portugal. Do you know? Hey, what's up? Yeah, this is it. Look at this. One thing that has surprised me a lot is how big trees are here. Look at that tree. It's either they don't cut trees here or generally it's just uh, a place that takes big trees wow i want to do a 360 and go eat remember i've ordered my food so let me walk and see i don't know the name of this park this looks like a nice park to come for a date man let me check from my google i'm so new here like really really new but again this is Mara, man. My job is to explore the world. So I feel like I'm already, I've already been here like for 100 years. You know, there's a car coming right there. I hope this guy sees it. Okay. So, right there, that's how taxis look like here. You see that? That's how taxis look like. So, Let's walk this way and we see if we can uh, find something interesting this side. And also, generally just exploring the streets of uh, Lisbon, Portugal. <laughs> you see, they love each other, but they keep arguing, holding hands, and they're speaking uh, Portuguese. Yeah? Actually, if you speak Spanish, somehow you may understand uh, Portuguese. Hey, how are you, man? Good man. What's going on here, man? This looks like wrong streets, wrong town. So let's see. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey. Welcome to Portugal, man. There's a very beautiful street right here, also. I think tomorrow I'll come and explore here a lot. You know. You know the funny thing about. If I go like this, I'm going back where I came from. So I would prefer going down then. Let me see. Let me weigh this. Um, let me weigh this. Oh, oh. All right. So let's go this way and see what Lisbon can offer. It's a beautiful sun. And you can't imagine what time is it. It's seven, man. But you know, during summer in Europe, it's actually 8. It's 8 p.m. Huh? I really love this street. I saw it from a distance and I knew it's going to be a very nice, beautiful street. Look, man, this is Europe, Portugal, the Cristiano Ronaldo's uh, hometown or capital city, Lisbon, man. So you have to be careful when crossing the road. Look, man, I think there's a delegation, a group of uh, dignitaries, they are walking in the street, maybe they're government officials. Look how people make their countries look so nice. I feel like trees make places look beautiful. And actually, the, tomorrow I'll explore this part of Portugal or uh, of uh, 
this big city of Lisbon and also tell you more different amazing facts about uh, Portugal but one thing you should always remember is a very small country 10 million people but this country colonized Brazil which is a whole is, is, is like a continent on itself this this small country also colonized Angola Mozambique you know I think also Cape Verde but uh, it's very very beautiful look at where I'm walking you know one thing I've come to realize trees and uh, these tiles make a place look so beautiful then if you want to add some beauty in it you add a little of lighting like this you know some lights somewhere in the streets everything turns out to be very very nice let's see what's going on this side actually i don't want to go very far because i don't want to get away from my restaurant you see i think even what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna go back up that way i see because honestly i don't lose track of the restaurant and i am so new here i don't even remember the name of that restaurant and i've already paid so let's these people pass then from there uh, i'll pass so this is a uh, portugal part of the european union if you have uh, any type of european union visa you can access portugal or you can directly uh, order not really order but you can so people right there man it's it's nice to be here bro just calm i don't know the name of this street but yet i feel very comfortable walking here the funny thing is now i'm supposed to find my the restaurant <laughs> I told the lady I'm just walking five minutes and I see it's already eight so let's go that way and see if we can get our restaurant guys it's amazing to be here and uh, I feel really 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 privileged to be showing you all this I feel like I was born just to travel the world man but when I was a kid I didn't have this dream I didn't even have shoes bro like life was so different I used to take care of goats and, and <laughs> sheep and donkeys, man. But now I'm right here in Lisboa. Actually, they say Lisboa in uh, Spanish. Oh, you can actually see right there. It's, it's Marino Lisboa, you know? But I think that is because it's Portuguese. Generally, people call this in English Lisbon. Oh, I think it's... Uh, it's this way because that couple I saw them so it's this way it's this way actually I nearly got lost but I remember the couple at that corner oh also the park is right there so I'm doing good <laughs> I'm very very good that guy got mad with I don't know if it's mad. I don't know if it's, this is how people talk here. Kind of people shout here. That's what I've realized. So let's go back and see if our food is ready. Your boy is really, really hungry. He arrived today. I took a bus from Madrid to this place for, for 50 euros. But actually I was told if you book earlier, it's cheaper. 20 euros, you can actually, 24 euros, you can find actually a bus. But if you book a day or the same day traveling, it jumps up to 50. It's just like booking a flight. Okay. This is my kitchen. Right here. I nearly got lost. Okay. So let's wait for the food. I think it's ready. So right now, my meal is right here. So for 5 euros, I'm able to get this meal. One thing I've loved already in this restaurant is they serve a lot of rice. This is my type of portion. So let me enjoy. Look, man. Yeah, this will feed me up. And this is chicken. So let me enjoy the meal. I'm so hungry. Guys, I just bought some bananas here. Thank you. The lady just gave me this was really nice she bought me one 
<laughs> right there. From Hong Kong. Yeah, that country. So each banana here goes for one euro. So, but she sold me three euros. That's life in Europe. Okay. Please ensure you follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out like crazy, crazy, crazy. So most streets here in Portugal, they have this type of stones. You see how they look? This all over. And then I found the stones. These are the stones. So these are the stones look like. Look. So you can imagine arranging this type of stones. Like here, it's a mess. You see, it's a mess here. So arranging it like this, then holding it the next, arranging it like this. I don't know where it's like that. You know, arranging all this. You can imagine how much work that takes. But again, the entire of Lisbon has those type of stones. Let's go back here, man. It's getting really, really cold. I'm telling you, it's really cold. Not like cold, the breeze. It's summertime, so it's supposed to be hot. But the breeze here, you know, it's like we're in mountains. So from I think, look, look how steep. So it keeps going down and down and down. This also happened in the trains. If you saw the video about the train, how I got lost here. It's the same. Look at their doors, man. It's, it's an old architecture. So you have to press here so they can open for you. So let me give you a tour of my hostel. This is where I'm staying, okay? Though I'm staying upstairs, but I just wanna show you generally how it looks like. So here, we have um, toilets and bathrooms and places to sleep. Here we have a fridge and a kitchen. Like that guy's preparing meals. Here we have a kitchen, you can actually cook, see? very tiny kitchen you can cook here if you go straight that way there's another place here i want to show you how this looks like i don't film people but uh, it's like this hello come stars so look at this this looks really nice they have like a chill space here where you can actually sit small i think actually if you they have some bamboos growing this is the hostel itself i love those lights they come out as cool the breeze is coming out you know one thing i didn't ask them is about the towel you may be outside here looks like this see it's just like that but it's it's very very cold see? and that's the that's the road you see people walking okay let me go back like this from where this guy is walking from so this is the hostel there are beds everywhere and uh i'm just showing you how this place looks like it's amazing man hello bon bon yeah i don't know <laughs> how do you say good, good evening uh, boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. Yeah, boa noite. It's like yeah. good night. Okay. It's like good evening and good night. Yeah. Yeah. Because in Spanish is uh, buenas no noches. Si. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll see you around. See you. Okay. So uh, this, is, this is still working space. So lots of activities. There are public toilets. Let me take you to where I'm staying. Up here, lights. It's a big house, bro. Very, very big. I feel like even in my house, I can convert it to a hostel. This, this looks, it's a place where you get lost. Look, I love the colors, man, you know? So my house is 2-2. Two, two. This is Piso. Piso. Piso means flow, so piso uno. 
the outside. All, all these rooms you see here, those are hostels, like, like this one here, uh, the door. Mine is up, so let's go. And do you realize high ceilings, super high? Can you imagine this wall, working on this wall? Hey, <laughs> hey, my friend. Okay. So, this is one of the iconic bridges here. Actually, if you're coming from Spain, you have to pass through this bridge. You can imagine before this bridge was constructed. What a, so this is Portugal. It's actually like a landmark. If you see this bridge, you just know that's Portugal. But also I saw one in Mozambique. I saw a similar to this same bridge like that. And remember Mozambique was colonized by Portugal. <laughs> wow. So. I'm not sure if there are people in my room, so you know I don't want to go with cameras. It's it's a public space, so I don't want to go with cameras in people's faces. But from this angle, this is what you see. Beautiful. The fresh air is coming in, man. Like crazy. Look at the high ceiling, guys. It's crazy, bro. So we're gonna go here. Actually, it's not this one. It's this, this one here. Two, two. That's where I'm staying. So I need, uh, I need something to open. Hello. So this is my bed right here. See that? So in that bed I'm paying around 35 euros a night. Crazy man. From here you have the view. Super amazing. This part you go, man. Look at that. Wow. I remember I showed you my hostel where I'm staying. So this is my bed, okay? That's my light. That's how it looks like, okay? It looks like just like that, or right here. And it's a mix, both girls and boys stay in a hostel. All right, so it's a beautiful day here. Okay, what time is it? Minus one. So it's 12, because my watch is one hour ahead. Okay, I came from Spain, so. So it's 12 or it's midday. This is the beautiful view of Portugal. Let me show you the beautiful view of Portugal. Wow, look at this. Let's start from here. So we can actually walk. I think there's a huge airport right there. I see planes just going. I don't know if you can see there's a plane going somewhere there. I don't know. My camera is not so good. In so this is Portugal, guys. Lisboa or Lisbon, Portugal. Portugal is a very small country and it has a, it has a population of 10 million people. This is Lisbon, Portugal, a home of Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, the greatest footballer. And uh, the houses look very old school, very, very old school. Yes, it's like an old design, old style. But life feels chill, but very expensive actually because we're in the European zone. Like for example, my bed i'm paying uh 30 34 euros euros not dollars euros are on top of dollars just that one bed for night food is like you're talking about like you know i was buying one banana yesterday and one banana costs uh um one banana cost one euro that's crazy can you see can you see there's water right there that's the mediterranean that's the mediterranean sea if I'm not wrong, actually, that's the Mediterranean Sea, close to Morocco, actually. Portugal is very close to Africa. Yes, so this is it. Uh, today, I'm going to be meeting one guy who wants to give me a tour of uh, Portugal, purely about black history in Portugal, because there's a million people who live here. 
and uh, yeah so I hope to meet him today and you're gonna be giving me those tours amazing if you stand right there you can see the entire Portugal right right on top there it's called the viewpoint El, Milad El Mirador okay this hostel I'm staying is called stay safe hostel and uh, they, are, uh, they have not paid me to say that but I know somebody you want to come to Portugal and have a cheaper or affordable place to stay you stay in hostels otherwise you're gonna be paying like a hundred euros a day man that's money I can save and build my house back home when I finish building my house I can stay in nice classy places but for now hostels oh it's not this part my my room is this part <laughs> okay All I need is you, baby, baby. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.